Well, here we are on the mighty Susquehanna River, right outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Barry Loop and I have made a road trip that's going to be memorable for a lot of ways. We're coming up here to chase those smallmouth out of this river that fight like you've never had a hold of one before in your life. I'm Nathan Light, tag along with us, and let's go catch them out of a jet boat. Welcome to 3B Outdoors. <laughs> This one out here might have a little more pull. What a beast of a smallmouth. Gotta throw a top line. Yes. Yes. We're here in Ohio. Yes. It all happened so fast. Boy, the big dog just put the smoke on a big old hole. <laughs> 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. I got up this morning at 3 a.m., took a shower, headed out and picked up Jerome at 4 a.m. We met you at 5 a.m. coming up 81, and we finally made it, and we're where? Mighty Susky, Susquehanna River in Pennsylvania. The water is clear, overcast, could be an awesome day. Thanks for tagging along with us. I'm Nathan White. Welcome to 3B Outdoors and my buddy, Barry Luke. We're going to get it done. All right. I then had a bite, Barry. First cast. <laughs> I thought I hit grass. <laughs> he tugged on it. In ultra clear water like this, you don't want it. Fish to get a good look at it because they're going to shy away from it. You try to get a fast moving bait jerking or top water, and they just hear the ruckus and come up and hit it. If you're throwing a bottom bouncing bait or a soft plastic or something like that, you want to use real small line because they're going to shy away from it. You can see probably seven or eight feet deep right here. Crystal. Got to start somewhere. First buy of the day. Don't. Throw it in our ledge up there. They probably school them in there. They're all good on top water. These right here is the ones that will really make you hurt if you get the wrong hook in the wrong place. See this grass and it comes over and then there's just there's holes underneath it that most fish like that. That's where they lay, that's where they were in this stuff right here. So we found a big patch of grass here. From the root to the end of it, sometimes it's six foot long. Okay. This is hard work right here. This is why a lot of people don't come up here and do this, man. You gotta have the right equipment and then you gotta have some muscle. Push the pole of the boat off sometimes. So those big rocks, just gotta do what it takes. 
lot of work. A lot of work. Big and big and that's how he's listening. Good. You get it sent to the water. Where's he at? Black guy here. Stay off the bottom of the boat, there, boy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And many treble hooks, not to worry about getting a net. Verbal net, come in handy. I think this barely did even touch the water. Way over on a big old long cast, that's clear water. Top water, just a reaction strike. We're gonna be hitting rocks. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be hitting rocks. What a pretty fish. Top water activity. Good job, Nate. I'm trying to navigate. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spothawk, the world's toughest archery products. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminock. Light them up at luminock.com. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Pretty little fish, old monkey butt, whopper plopper. Ah, yeah. I like it, I just wish they'd be about five pound bigger. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 that's a monster. I didn't touch him either. No way, I'm gonna smash him there. That's a good one. I didn't even come close to him. Man, he's not. That's why I don't have food for that for time. Yeah. That's good, man. He come from way out of the water after him. You have struck pay dirt. Good. One of them mean ones.
today. Same back look in here. Shield flaring. Well, that's a good one. Come here. There you go, man. Pounder. That's a tunker. That's a three pounder. Best one of the day, good one. He and golf a little on Ned rig, didn't he? Yeah. This rock and golf mine, but hey, I'll take it. Nice one. Yep. Tunk that. He liked that Ned rig. There he goes. Maybe something's going to happen here late in the day. We need a break, a little better fish. I don't know where they've been living, but they haven't been eating yet. That's a good one. It's a head shaker. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 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 Look here. Ah. Look here. You get him. I'm getting ready to. You come off right there in the net. That's the way you like it. Look yeah. Here. Don't even have to dig him out of him. Son, he's been caught before. I bet you dig it now. Right. Just this, lay it down there. Trying to get this rock. That's oh, don't good. Pick. That's, oh, son, look at that one. Boom! That just happened. Susquehanna. Yes, sir. Top water smaller. Yes, Get late in the day. We might be on a roll here. We struggling yes, around, caught them little ones all day. Yes, baby. All right. Top water activity. Need a net? No, no net. There ain't no big one. Is it good? He eat it. Get that big plopper. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. In Northeast Tennessee. sizzle of local flavor. Live the heart of its people. Live the adventure at every turn. While you retreat, play, relax. When you visit Kingsport, you live Kingsport. Outdoors is stoked to announce a new partnership with Dwayne Wilson, owner of Dixie Custom Rods and Tackle. He builds truly custom rods at an affordable price for any style and action up to the 9 foot 9 inch ledge rocket. For an amazing combination, add one of his new reels to a custom rod. Dwayne's tungsten jigs and weights, the Mega Flash and Dixie Triple Threat umbrella style rigs are proven fish catching machines. Dwayne might even build you one just like the one I use, a 7 foot 4 inch medium action tight lining rod that is totally out of this world. This is high-speed footage of the Ripcord Code Red and a competitor's fall-away arrow rest. Both fall as designed, but watch what happens to each launcher arm after fall-away. Ripcord's drop-dead break stops any launcher bounce back, while the competitor's launcher arm bounces back up into the arrow. This will affect arrow flight and broadhead accuracy. Eliminate launcher bounce back with Ripcord Code Red, the number one fall-away rest. 
95. Oh! This is a good one. Did you see that one? Did I call it? Did I call it? Yep. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Susquehanna. Chunkers. Fat bellies. Top water. Don't get any better than this. Train going by. Who cares? Had a baby. Oh, yeah. Golly, he broke my plug off, I'm glad. Got him in the boat. He, he eat it right there at the boat. Fatty. Susquehanna specials. Mean, lean, fighting machines. Thank you, big boy. I'm glad I got my plug in the boat real quick. I was about to lose that one. I think, I don't know, I might. This is a good one here. He's, he's not super big, but he's, He's chunky, and he's got an attitude. Look at that boy. Look at him. Come here now. He is mad. One hook in him. I don't know if he's gonna make it in the boat or not. Yeah, fine. Look at that one. One hook. One little skin hook right there is all it's got. Wow. Look at the bellies on. I ain't gonna kiss him like Jimmy Houston does though. But man, it's fun. Roll mark that pounds. Yeah, at least. Man. They're so starting to bite a little bit here late in the evening right before dark. That's a good young to on him. Jump in that. Okay. <laughs> He's a fat one. Fat one. That's a good chunker. I know. I This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Luminox are brighter, more durable, 
and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminock. Light them up at Luminock.com. Whether you're spending the day running around at 70 miles an hour in a high-powered bass boat, fishing a competitive stress field tournament, or just enjoying a day on the lake, you can never have enough, Dr. Enough. Well, this turkey out is way overrated. Let's go down to Kearney's and get us some of that roasted chicken. You know what Mike says, seven days without chicken makes one week. Let's go. On a good home-cooked meal, come to Lynn Garden Restaurant in Kingsport. You won't be disappointed. And here's the proof. The most versatile fishing machine on earth. Unparalleled resolution and clarity. With more agility, lightning speed, and brute strength. HDS Carbon takes rapid response performance and screen technology to an all-new level. Maximized power, maximized visibility. See Structure Scan 3D, new dual chirp sonar, new live network sonar, and more mapping options, all at the same time and faster than ever before. Arm yourself. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Friday afternoon, we got started out just 1 o'clock, 1.30. 1 1.30 probably, yes. And the bite was pretty good. I mean, we got on a little roll there, caught a bunch of fish on that uh, whopper flopper, that one monkey right. buck coat, that little right. 90. Right. And uh, man, they were eating it. We caught a few on a Ned rig, a few on a tube, a few on a Senko, just a little bit of everything. You know, caught a bunch of fish, not even monsters. So we went in, day two, poured down rain. All day long. I tell you, I was thankful. Twelve to have hours. Him, in I, was the thankful, rain. <laughs> I was thankful to have them fray bill rain suits. Kept me dry all day long. All day long. Well, and we couldn't almost. get the <laughs> we couldn't get the big camera out, but we knocked around and caught a lot, a lot of fish and figured out you got on that little Mikey little, little wake Mikey bait. wake bait worked well. Yeah, and you caught three or four really good fish right off of the bat. Caught a few on that uh, whopper whopper, and then we got on that cinco bite, and it was crazy. It I'm, was yeah we. Phenomenal, what, 75 fish at last or yeah, I mean, yesterday or Sunday day two. Throwing it on a uh, braid with a fluorocarbon leader. A little Some, split shot, little sometimes split not shot. a split shot. And just man, they were they were pounding in that current. They were shallow too, and we just had an awesome day. And it rained so bad that we really couldn't get the big camera out, but we made a run right late in the day. Yes. Got up there, and you know, then we started catching a few fish, and then Jerome had this little I don't know what you want to call it. He threw over the island, you know. It's an errant cast, he said, but I think he meant to. Well, he threw it over there in the bushes on that little island. I said, Jerome, jerk it, get out of there. And he said, I can't. You got a fish on. Yeah, and he said, like, we're flopping. So we had to go on. Yeah, I had to go all the way around and get that fish off. But then later in the day, Jerome made another cast around the other island. And he claimed, which I, I, I did see a big well, fish I, grab I did it. see a big fish yeah. grab it. But, and it took it know. in the weeds again. And we couldn't even get the boat over there, so he had to strip down to his skivvies and go over there wading to get her only whopper plop with his eat. We got all that on video, or we you did. did. I mean, but, not one second was missed. No, we got it all. <laughs> I can't walk on this. It's like snot. But then the last thing of the day, we got up there, and we pulled this one little pocket up there, and we had three fish back to back to back. And Jerome, of course, pulled out the monster of the, the trip. Huge, and, huge, small leaf. Yeah, and it was Cameraman just, rocks. Cameraman rocks. You know, J-Rome. We thought we was going to go one more little pass. And that one little pass turned into be not so Tr good. Trouble pass. for me. Trouble for Barry. Got hit a rock, hit a rock, going sideways. Next thing you know, you stand up about five deep water. Fortunately, it didn't hurt nothing, except the pride. No, it hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. But uh, we, we did survive. Then came out today, and uh, man, it, it rained on us all morning. 
went to a different ramp and just didn't pan out as no, well. So we cut tough. the trip short today. Just going to go on back home and say, man, we made some great memories, had a good time, caught a bunch of fish. And these susky fish are a little shorter than ours at home. Shorter but, but fatter fine. and strong, very strong. And they get out in that current, man, you can't do anything with it. It's fun, it is fun. So but we fun. lost a couple of good fish like we always do. But uh, The way it goes, that's just life. But man, we caught a bunch of them. So that's kind of a recap. We had an absolute blast. If you ever get the opportunity to come up here to the Mighty Susky in Harrisburg and fish in the shadow of the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty, a replica, a by replica. the way, but it's pretty awesome. It, it is pretty awesome. This river is really treacherous to run. Don't even think about coming up here without a really good tip boat. Amen, buddy. So, check out these clips from the rest of our video. They jump about four foot out of the water every time. Gosh, they're the strongest fish. For their size, it's unreal. And you catch two pounders, I feel like a five pounder. Yeah, I mean, look, every one of them are really wide and really fat. And they're just, they got real thick across the back. I mean, real, real thick, so. Feisty. They fight good. We want the big ones to turn on. It'll be one of them timing things as always, but we'll catch them if they bite. 12, 13 inch fish. Probably 13, but they're all just big around fat. Big for their size. 16 inches long, three pounds. It's hard to believe how heavy those fish are for a short fish. Maybe 16, probably, maybe 17. I'd say 16. Pretty fish. That blue's a little ring in the net here. Two pound or something, we'd give them. What a trip. Man, we did everything wrong, we did everything right. Jerome had to get out in his underwear to get his lure. Barry fell out of the boat. It rained on us all day one day. Man, we caught a ton of fish, caught them on topwater sinkos. And these smallmouth up here are not built like our southern smallmouth. They're short, stocky, and mean. They got attitudes. But we do really appreciate you hanging out with us. I'm Nathan Light. Tune in next week and watch another great episode of 3B Outdoors. that sign. My goodness. A fishing curry. Did you hear it? Boats, rods and reels, bows and a gun. We're team 3B. Wanna have ourselves some fun. Take your glasses off so you can hear me. <laughs> oh, you better run. Fish run your lure in the bushes? There wasn't fish on it. Okay.